It's that magical time. All right, Shaman Jackson here. Uh, I'm going to look at the Invitational Solo Jazz Charleston Finals. Get to see who actually made it to the finals. This is uh, the controversial stuff. I won't get into what I think. But we are going to see who made the finals. And then I'm going to see who I think won, really. Let's dive into this. Let's, I hope it's good. Hopefully, um, the judges made some good decisions. We'll see. Give it up for the Boilermaker Jazz Band. Boilermaker Jazz Band. We started off with this name of Lee Rihanna. <laughs> Nail. Oh. Okay. So Joe Hoffberg made it. Ricard, Swedish guy, made it. Ramona made it. Okay. Okay, so Remy, he wasn't in the prelim. I guess they just kind of put him in. We'll see. Come on. Come on, Sky. <laughs> it's cool. On Joe, let's see what's up. She was she impressed me in the last one. Woo! She's crushing it. All right, Ramona. How do you love that? All right, let's see. Yes, different folks. That was good. Come on, Natasha. Yes. Come on, Naomi. She's got that stank face. I saw it. Come on now. Come on, Renny. He got the audience in on that one. Oh! Oh, I felt bad. Oh! Joe Hopper. Come on, Ramona. She put a lot of tap in there. Card, yes, feeling that. Yes, yes. Oh, so close. I got my top two. We'll see who it is.
someone's just sitting back there in front of the van. Michael Jackson turned and split. Nope. Come on, audience. Boy, that was good. That was that was special. That was special. Oh, I got to say something. I think I think the the dancer who had second place in the last like prelim crushed it in this one, and that is Joe Hofberg, folks. She, in my opinion, she was. She crushed it. Here's what crush means for you, you judging intellectuals, right? She had control. She had timing. She had some impeccable things. She had some little things she did with her shoulder, which was like amazing. I couldn't believe the, the drummer hit it at the exact same time. And then she had like some just unique movements. So for me, she was number one. And my number two would have been Ricard. Ricard crushed it in terms of being able to keep all that weirdness that, that he did in the last one, but it was just like, the timing was there. The timing was there, it was, I don't know, it was between those two, but I, I put her above just a little bit. So in my mind, in that final, looking at it, if I was sitting in the front as a judge, got my mean face on, she's first. And then I would have Card second, and I would probably have Ramona third. She was killing it with the, the tap rhythms. <sighs> that was good. I might watch that one a few more times. But I will point out something. Something is wrong with this picture. The one that was the main dancer that I thought won the prelim is not even in the finals. What's up with that? You guys know what I'm talking about. Look at the other video if you have it. His name is Nathan Bew. He's the bald guy. He had, I'm not sure if he had green shoes on also, but what he was doing was amazing. Was amazing. And for whatever reason, I don't know how the rules work. I don't know if it's just kind of like certain people just get to get in the finals. I don't know. It's not my competition. But if I was judging the competition, he would have been in the finals and I don't know what he would have done. But based on what he did in prelims, he would have had first and Joe Hofberg would have been second and Ricard would have been maybe second. I don't know. Those two would have vacillated between, I would have vacillated between those two places for those two dancers. But what do you think? Do you think more people should have been in the final? I certainly do. You think, who do you think should have won? Think I'm wrong in my analysis? You don't think Joe Hofberg was awesome? Don't put that in the comments, because <laughs> I'll say you're wrong. She crushed this one. Anyway, uh, let me know. Hit me up in the comments section. Let me know what you thought about this Invitational Solo Jazz Charleston final. If you guys don't know how to do solo jazz, solo jazz and Charleston dancing, you need to get off of YouTube and start dancing in your living room, because I got free courses below, and you can learn how to do that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.